take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Unlike that popular spring bulb the tulip, which can cause diarrhea and vomiting in cats and dogs, grape hyacinths are safe to plant around pets. Even when your curious dog wants to dig up and explore that which you just buried at planting time. Plant your grape hyacinths in the fall, 4 to 6 inches under the soil. Take our lead. Hyacinth. Many spring bulbs, including hyacinths and daffodils, are toxic if eaten by humans or pets. Hyacinth bulbs can be mistaken for shallots or onions and, if eaten, can cause intense stomach problems, high blood pressure and an irregular heartbeat. Let's help you make your mark. Grape hyacinth weeds Grape hyacinth produces numerous seeds once the blooms are spent and bulbets are formed off the parent bulbs for future flowers. Grape hyacinth weeds infest untilled fields and garden beds alike and may rely upon sequential grape hyacinth control for complete removal. Make your mark, take our lead. Grape hyacinth weeds Most grape hyacinth bulbs are planted on purpose with the intention of brightening up the front path or spring flower bed. But the ease with which this plant reproduces can make it a real nuisance in some instances and its invasive abilities are a threat to cropland. Take our lead. Hyacinth. The spring flowers of the hyacinth, Hyacinthus orientalis, are not in themselves highly toxic to dogs, although ingesting them can lead to oral and esophageal tissue inflammation. Depending on the amount a dog consumes, symptoms can include profuse drooling, vomiting and diarrhea. Take our lead. A self-seeded grape hyacinth. Each bulb produces 1 to 3 4 to 8 inch high flower stalks with 20 to 40 tightly packed flowers per stalk. Each bell-shaped floret has a thin white band on the rim. Most have a mildly sweet fragrance variously described as slightly grassy or grapey. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.